Yellow, did you did you what did you did you say anything about being grounded? What do no, you feel? I, I mean I was letting you talk. What do you feel about being grounded? Um, I'm gonna have to say this in my little Irish way. Because <laughs> I daydream a lot. So I had to train myself first to recognize how to be grounded. Yeah. And then I found it. And then <laughs> and my way is always staying focused on the mission of my journey and do with my family like because they with me on this journey so you know whoever's with me has to be i'm focused with them and that's the only way it's gonna work i'll mm-hmm. be to the ground because lord, lord knows i mean girl we all be okay you know what i'm talking about so oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but i had to recognize how to be grounded through all this bullshit all the bad shit because it was just nothing for the, you know, for the enemy to just poke me on my side. I react real quick. Distractions, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like to anything, you know, being focused on the things that don't is not important. Yeah. Like, no, I'm tired of that. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Those are all distractions, yo. And you know yeah. what? I feel like the the what will what something that would really keep you grounded is finding out your what and your why. Finding out, finding out why you do what you do, and finding out who the hell you do it for. Yeah, those two things is gonna really keep you grounded, and keep you on your path, and keep you, keep you steadfast on your journey. And that's why one of my first sessions when I do begin these classes is gonna be, who are you? Who do you think you are? Who are you when nobody's looking? What do you do when nobody's paying attention to you? Like who you always wanted to be, but for some reason you just don't feel like you can get there. Like. Who are you? That's one of the first questions I'm be asking mm-hmm. people in my first lecture. Because if you don't know who you are, you're going to fall for anything. And I think that's what we've been saying for the longest. Yeah. And it's something very, very, very big to stretch. Like, bro, if you don't know who you are, you're going to fall for anything. And that's so important, man. It's very so important. important. Because, oh my God, you know how I look back and you know how stupid I feel? Like, damn. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Like, why? Why? You know? For real. I know why. I ain't doing that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? I know why, and I ain't doing that shit no more. <laughs> 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 but nah, that's some real things that are guys. Who? In life? <laughs> People are gonna box you and beat you up on everything. But if you have a mission and you have a goal, sometimes you have to take a one box or two. And that's why, before I used to, when I read the Bible and hear the story, it said, yo, I box, turn the left cheek, type take. I used to be like, who turn the left cheek? I'm going to beat you up. Like, don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm looking at it like, yo, you have to turn your left cheek. If you have a mission and you're living for something, Yo, the enemy, especially the more powerful you are, the more strong you get within your spirit, the enemy going to come for you harder. So if you know you're trying to ignore him with all of these things and trying to stay focused and knowing that, you know, when somebody says something to you or when uh, time or traffic or anything coming your way, that's all distractions to get you to stop focusing on what you're really supposed to be focusing on. So then when he realized that your power, your power is powerful and then your spirit is strong, that man is going to come, that man. That spirit is going to come and try to body you. And say say you so good with, like, ignoring stuff. No, that thing going to come around your family. And that's why one thing I did, because I know what I'm doing. And I know where I'm coming from when it comes to all this, this my journey. I said, yo, I said this to anybody who I come around. Yo, the enemy so strong that he knows us. So if he comes in and stir up some type of fight, and gets us to get off topic or whatever, we need to come together and pray. Stop what we're doing and pray, or stop what we're doing and laugh at the situation, like, yo, he just tried it. <laughs> and come back together, like, all right, so let's do what we was doing. Let's focus back. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, in real life situation, that shit is hard. It's hard to come back into focus. Yeah, it takes a lot of training. It takes a lot. Of, and that stems with self-discipline, because it's like, all right, so, okay, let's be disciplined. You know if you raise your right hand, you're going to hit the ceiling. 
So raise it halfway. But some people just know they need to raise their hand. They just keep forgetting. They keep hitting the ceiling. So boom, take discipline and raise it right here. Some people just don't know how to raise it halfway. They just know how to go straight up. It takes discipline to teach yourself to just stop right there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like when they teach you how to write in school as babies. They telling you to write on the line. You see them kids, they be sloppy all off the line, I think. But with practice, that's why one of my teams is practice make perfect sense. Mm -hmm. As you're right, as you get used to writing, you're going to always be on that dotted line. Practice make perfect sense. And you have to distract. Keep away from all the distractions. They're all there to just stop you from being focused. Even if it's your mother, your sister, your friends. It could be a rock on the floor that you just buck your toe. Yo, look what I tell God. Thank you, God. You know what I'm saying? That you just made me book my toe. You just made me realize that I'm still alive. You see me? I said it's like so many different ways for us to train our thoughts to stay positive 24 7. And that is hard to do because, you know, if you're born in this negative world, you're always thinking like, you always think of some form of negativity. So when you're starting to ground yourself and you're trying to learn yourself and be self love and be all about self mastery, self awareness, self discipline, everything that goes wrong, you're going to look for a lesson in it. It's teaching me something. Everything that goes wrong is something that I'm trying to get from it. Something I'm going to learn from it. Yep. And if you could do that right away, soon when something goes wrong, you do that right away. All right, so what I'm learning from this? Instead of just getting angry, that's something taking your power away. Yeah. And one of my main things I say 24-7 is take your power back. Shouldn't nobody get you upset. Nobody get you to feel any kind of way. If somebody comes to you and say, yo, I'm ugly. You should be able to say, thank you. Thank you for thinking about me. Thank you for talking about me. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's very, very easy to say than done. But if you practice it, practice make perfect sense. Practice it. You will get there, dog. I promise you. I promise. <laughs> it's true, y'all. It's true. You talking shit about you? <laughs> and you know, you want, we Stop. over here shopping, y'all. We over here online shopping. We over here talking about distractions. Look at her getting distracted. Getting distracted. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was listening. You shouldn't be able to get mad if they call you ugly. <laughs> Make sure you're chasing yourself, chasing self love, self mastery. Master yourself. Master yourself. Learn you unconditionally. Learn you so you can love all your flaws. So you won't get mad when somebody hates you. You feel me? People say, Oh, why you walk like that? Because it's my walk. Why you talk like that? Because it's my talk. You know what I'm saying? Self mastery is everything. Why you walk like that? Because it's my walk. You know what I'm saying? Bop, bop, cheeky, cheeky. Like, nobody should ever, ever, ever come into your life, your blood clot life, and tell you, oh, you for go, and oh, you for me. <laughs> what sense that make? That means that y'all give them people your power. It is your power. Everybody in this world is powerful. We all have special powers, but we don't know it. But it's like, we've been brainwashed since birth. You know what I'm saying? And... Since birth, we've been feeling like we have to act and have to do and have to say certain things. Even some parents get so used to like, I'm I'm real big on letting a child be a child, but still teaching them right and wrong. But some parents be letting a child like they teach them right and wrong, and then they still can't be a child. They automatically telling them how like some kids don't know how to be grown ups. Some kids don't know how to talk like this and do this that and third, and they have to learn. And it's like. Let a kid be a kid. Mm-hmm. And that's what's... Kids growing up too fast nowadays. Sure are. And then we were, we're, trying to, we're trying to figure out why they so rude and all these things and why they know so much because they're growing up. We're giving them cell phones and all this stuff. Like, kids kids don't even... I ain't have no cell phone until I was in high school. They don't even know what outside look like. Yeah, kids these kids supposed to be outside, ch- like... Jumping rope and playing hide and seek and all them things they're the right hide and seek. But um, and it's like they don't know how to be kids no more. 
They think when they go outside, they bored. You're not bored, bro. You're supposed to be outside playing, jumping on trees, learning how to run and all this. <laughs> ride. A lot of these kids don't even know how to ride bicycles. Everybody want to jump on hoverboards, but y'all can't ride no bicycle. Y'all can't ride no scooter. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, though, we need to... Um, life is beautiful. If we do it the right way, if we make sure we, if we make sure we stay focused and grounded, life is beautiful. But if we let shit come and distract us and shit, we're gonna always be angry. We're always gonna find fault in something. You see me? I say, and why not want peace, love, joy, and happiness? All them shits is free. The free, just be all of them things. For real, I'm cheap. <laughs> them shits free. Look <laughs> the cup. Down. Boy, wicked, wicked, wicked. No, no, it's saying, oh, this thing, I got done in a 10 minute, probably both Jeez. eight minutes. No, you guys, I really, 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 really love this high fives Me only too. virtual symposium. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Link up, boy. I googled that name and it just sat with me. <laughs> what symposium? I love it. What it's like it? a, it's a, it's a. A phone, a group conference, um, a meeting, a link. Oh, and I'm like, oh, you know, symposium. It's not modified. S y m p o s i u m. Did I spell it right? Anybody, let me know. <laughs> let me know. <laughs> symposium. I like that. High vibes only. You said that wrong because I lost my voice 29 days ago. High vibes only. <laughs> High vibes. I can say that one. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, that track is soon old. It's going to be dropping real soon. Okay. And when it do drop real soon, y'all going to feel the high vibes only. <laughs> Not high vibes and ah, ah, ah. You're gonna feel the high. Y'all know that New York song, ah, 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 not that song. <laughs> not that song. <laughs> you gotta feel the high vibes only. High vibes, any situation. Boy. You're gonna hear it. Ooh, I wanna do my verse real quick, but you know what? I mean, you might need to get a little shot. Coolie step back, you sing another shot. If you don't do it this way, you can't do that. No cap, real rap. So them said to me, me, I grow my crop. I'ma not take back my chat. Them no no, me reaping what me sow. Them no no, I them help me for grow. grow. When I forget the charm. Hey, the thing me delusion, no. When I try for trip me, me see step with the live up and go. And if you ever try for this, you better move pop show. And if you ever try for, you better remember me the chosen one. For you send me dan da da. Go, you have to say that. Daddy. Go ask your friend and your mother. Mommy. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. Some people come in our life for try you. Them even try multiply you. But them can't be. Wait, wait, wait! Back up. Back up. People come in your life to try you. Oh my and gosh. And to multiply you. They try oh to make. God. They try to be you. Oh God. Because yeah. you're so authentic, they're gonna try to be you. But when you're built with God-given talents, can't nobody. Yo, your journey are your journey. Your gifts are your gift. What God has for you, can nobody dismiss. Don't know the thing that. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I got that on recording. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Damn, girl. Damn. I like I don't know that. about y'all, but this link up about the end, but I'm about to talk to y'all all the way through it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if anything, I love you guys with all my heart. Like, this is a blessing to find tribe and just to build a tribe. And I know more people going to flow in because this is all about high vibes. Lifting, raising high my vibrations, only. frequencies, done with the thing. High vibes, any situation. Yes, sir. Done with the thing. I love everybody, you know. I love unconditionally. So that's why when people hurt me, I forgive so easily. I forgive quick. But I'm learning how to make sure I don't allow people to disrespect me anymore. If I forgive you, I forgive you outside of that door. You'll never be able to come through that door again, though. <laughs> I love you. I forgive you. What you say? Right? That that wooden door blocking you. What you say? 
I love and you. that's a thing you have to be <laughs> able you gotta be able to love from a distance yeah. remember when we first started this link up what we said well what i said i said he been that, what we saw. i said <laughs> i said that love is the should be the root of everything right so if you're not loving in any situation, you gotta have love. Even if somebody hating on you, you gotta have love. Even if love somebody coming for you, you gotta have love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta have love at all times, all shapes, all days, all weeks, all years. You gotta have you know, love. Yeah, I was like, is I her neck broken? And you know my my live, sorry live, y'all probably look up on a big up, big up, big up. Man, I understand, my love on a scene where they don't say, boy. I love Let me you. tell you. Oh, are they talking to they us? They talking to you. I love y'all too. Bro, you like, was good, man. Uh, no, I'm just talking. Well, I'm mm-hmm. on. We got link up. It's been long over the day. <laughs> Jasmine. Oh, now you, Siri. Mm-hmm. Jasmine, I didn't get that. Okay, not you, Siri. You don't gotta get nothing. I actually. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like love, love, love is the answer to everything. Love. Which who who sing that song? Love is the answer. Ain't that um? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? It's it's not it's um garnet silk. Me no me a chabo. I thought she was about to say, Menor! <laughs> I thought she was about to say, Love. Oh, so many things I've got to tell you. But no, Garnet's like a top life. It said, Love is the answer. But what did I say? Exactly. <laughs> As a kid, that's what I remember. <laughs> Woo. Girl, you need to come visit me and stop playing. Who? Florida's waiting on you. Who you stop playing. To? Jasmine. Jasmine. Okay. She ain't trying to come Brian, nowhere. Don't laugh at us. I promise we just crazy. We ain't bringing our ass back to Greensboro. Greensboro needs to bring their ass here. Greensboro is not Greensboro for us. Greensboro is not for us. You feel me? And it's okay. It's not. If anything, Greensboro is for me to travel there. But. Right. Oh my gosh, girl! I do want to congratulate you, girl. Every time I see you, I just like yes, big oh, up your damn self, girl. for real, big up yourself because big yo, that's you, not nice. You know, Siri, Siri, I, I we saying big up yourself. What's not nice about that? You know it, Jasmine. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you are doing exactly what we're doing and what we're trying to get this next generation to do. And girl, we is not too far. If you hop on that plane, it takes two hours, probably an hour and a half to get here. Girl, and then you good once that. you get here. You sick. So. But you <laughs> 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 For real. Shit. Miss you too, boy. We still gotta do that track stop playing. I'm about to do my album, and if you don't come with it, yeah, yeah. I'm working on a whole <laughs> LP. Turn up. The only thing. Oi. Anyways, y'all, so yeah, you know, it's, you know. I love y'all on my heart, you feel know <clears> me? <throat> and y'all, y'all, y'all make me feel real good about everything that's being pushed because we almost gave up on everything. I not really. I can't ever say that I would give up on anything because I don't know how to give up on shit. But I almost like all the way slowed down because the it wasn't making comes. sense. The, the feeling, feeling does come. Because when you're when you're on a journey to where you know yourself and you know what you headed for and you don't stop to nothing, you, you get the enemy gonna come. The enemy gonna attack you because you're that strong. I thought that said Tyler Perry. <laughs> <laughs> because you're that strong, so he's gonna try to make you. He's gonna try to throw you off your course. He's gonna try to distract you. What we were just talking about. He's gonna try to like, you know, tempt you. Temptation. Oh God, God told Ooh, you. He told temptation. us. Temptation is gonna come from every which way, every angle. Mm-hmm. But guess what? Yeah. For every for every situation where temptation comes, there's always a way out. There's always, always a way out. You just gotta be able to make yourself. It's a way out of all your tragedies, yo. It's a way out of all tragedies. That's why it's like, God is such a forgiving God. It don't make sense to how He's so forgiving, and that's why I love Him so much. And that's why I'm gonna be more Christ-like because if He could forgive so much, why do I hate people? Or why do I even think that I need to not forgive somebody who hurt me before? They, I could forgive them and just not have nothing to do with them, love them from afar. Oh, dang! But if anything. Right. I need to know that, you know, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? She needs to know that. What is wrong with her? <laughs> Because you don't remember either. <laughs> it's not for me. It's for you. I got distracted. See, that's See? not good. That's the enemy. That's the enemy. Prime example, y'all. Enemy. The enemy really be trying to distract us from Damn. our paths and journeys, from our goals, from our destiny. Yeah. From, yeah. from our destiny. You know, he, he yo, it's crazy. The what the Bible say he he's like a, a, a he's roaring a lion. Night. He's like a roaring lion just he's waiting to steal, night. kill, destroy. Okay, he's trying to kill us, steal us, and destroy us. But guess what? From you know who you are, stand you can't firm. Do that. From you know who you are, stand you firm do that. in that faith. Stand firm in in love. You yep. feel me? Yep. Love is unconditional, but this world is built off of fear and hate. Mm-hmm. So you guys, even if any of y'all believe in a COVID ting wagwan, stop fearing it. You feel me? Have <laughs> unconditional <laughs> faith. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, Y'all, excuse me, like, she just getting comfortable, like, and then she, like, looking like I'm about to be her pillow or something. Like, I'm about to lean over. Yup. But no, for real, y'all, like, for real, yo, the enemy, hmm. He's strong, you know. <laughs> he wants everything. He's strong. You gotta, yeah. you gotta, you gotta derail what he got planned for you. You gotta... You gotta know yourself, you know what I'm saying? Unconditional. And I love that because you see, just like how God got up. Okay, let me start from us. We all got our own plans, right? We all got goals. We got plans to, you know, I got a plan to expand with my brand. You know, whether it's dancing, my music artistry, my makeup business, you know, whether it's whatever my brand is, I have my goal is to expand in it and touch souls through doing those things, right? Mm -hmm. So I have my own plan of mine, but guess what? My plan is my plan, but guess what? God plan is God plan. And when I say God, that's whoever your creator is. You could call him Buddha, whatever you call him, it's the same source. So your creator is what I'm gonna say because I I don't like to step on people's toes and make people feel, you know, a kind of way. Because if you dig deep, they all... It's the same source, but we're not... That's a whole nother life. It's a whole nother conversation. So, you know... I go to my creator, but guess what? I have my own plan, but guess what? My creator have his own plan for me. So not just because I got my plan written out on paper, I'm ready for execute my, my, my list. No, there's going to be a plot twist somewhere in there because my plan is not, your plan is not always going to be your creator's plan for you. But guess what? The same way God got a plan for you, just the same way the enemy got a plan for you. You know what I mean? So that's where his distractions and his temptations and his... That's where all of that comes from. Because he trying to execute his plan in between your plan and in between God's plan. You know what I mean? So that's where being awake and aware, that's where all of that comes in. Self-love and self-mastery all dies deep inside Mm -hmm. yourself. Because when you know yourself, that means you are one with your creator. And when you're one with your creator, you know what you guys are planning to do. You guys are one with your dreams and your goals and your visions. So when you and your God is there together, nobody else should be able to mess up anything that you're planning. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So when you and your God has that discernment and that dedication to get things done, yo, take off. And guess what? A take lot of people flight. think that you take, take flight. flight. <clears throat> Them things say you take flight, like she said. And I just like, oh, um, I'm getting all this money. And, no, I took off knowing that I love God unconditionally now. Yeah. Before, I used yeah. to think, oh, I don't know how to, how to, I used to doubt myself. When you doubt yourself, you doubt God. When you doubt yourself, you doubt everything. You feel me? So when you become one with yourself, you become one with God and everything that you're trying to do. If you're trying to dance, if you doubt yourself, you're not going to be able to dance. If you're trying to sing, if you doubt yourself, you're not going to be able to sing. You know what I'm saying? So you have to become one with yourself so you can be who you're supposed to be and be who he wants you to be. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You got work to do. Your talents is his God-given talents to you. It's like I had to realize that, yo, God, I don't want to use you no more. So I'm going to stop making these people use me because emotionally I felt like people was using me because I'm an empath. 
So I was like, God, I'm going to stop making people use me. And then that way I'm going to stop using you because it's like a reflection. Like, God, I'm so sorry I've been using you all this, all my years. That's why all these people using me. You feel me? But then me and God got one, had a whole conversation. And he was like, oh, you think you using me? Nah, I gave you all them talents. So I'm pretty much using you, giving you those talents so you can spread a message in this world. And I'm like, Lord God, I don't want to use you and make it seem like, oh, I'm only calling on you when I need help. Or I'm only calling on you when I'm mad. Or when I'm happy too. You feel me? So I had this big conversation with God the other night, you guys, on using each other. Me and God was like, I'm using you. He was like, you're using me. And I'm like, we both using each other and that's reciprocating energy. So God is like, now that you know this, get up and do the work that you're supposed to do. Use your talents and your goals and do what you're supposed to do. You feel me? Yes. Oh. That just disrupted everything. But that's what I'm saying. So I definitely told God that, you know what? Yes, I'm going to step fully into my power. And I'm going to make sure that I use this body that Please. you gave me, my temple, to work on the talents that you gave me. And then I'm going to call on you so you can give me strength. So it's like I'm using you for strength and you using me with your goal, your talents to bless the world. Mm -hmm. So me and God is reciprocating energy. Yeah. And let me tell y'all something. That's how I want to use everybody around me too. Don't think you're about to come in my life and just get off of me. You feel me? We're going to reciprocate energy. Is it me I say? If you can dance and I can cook, I'm a, you teach me how to dance. And I'm going to give you a plate of food. Do you feel me? Like, this this world is so built over currency, and we need to get that out of our brains. Like, it don't have to be like that. If you have a friend who knows how to make clothes, and you know how to, to fix our oats, and you have something broken in your house, say your, your, your sink is broken, and then your friend fix clothes or whatever. No. Say your sink is broken, but you fix clothes, and your friend knows how to fix the sink. Tell your friend to come over here, fix the sink, and then boom, you give them a, you make a shirt for them or something. You feel me? The 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 amount of time it takes to fix that sink don't cost like a hundred dollars. So that means you're gonna make him two outfits, a shirt and a bottom. That comes up to like a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? We need to reciprocate energy, reciprocate talent, reciprocate gifts. This currency thing, money is the root of all evil. And we think we need money to get every and anything we need. Yo, how about you guys build a farm in your backyard? Grow all the plants and stuff that you need. You feel me? Like, get everything, all the sources you need in your own backyard. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, this is crazy to me that it's so crazy that it took me so long to realize it. That I was who all I was waiting on. I had to get one with God. Is it me I say? I believe it. But guess what, you guys? I'm going to front. We're going to end this live because... There's a lot of love that's been spreading, and I do want to go pray to my God. You know what I'm saying? I want to say my prayers and go to my sleep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do love you guys. One thing more I want to know, confidence over nonsense. Self-love are the best love. Practice make perfect sense. Yeah, fear over fear, love over fear. Fear over hate, love over hate. Make sure you take all them things and live with it. You see me? I say because without God, without love, without that... Who are you? You feel mm -hmm. me? And when you have that answer, let me know. Who are you? Mm -hmm.